Hi, my name is Carmen Smith. I'm an undergraduate student doing a double major in biology and earth and ocean science here at the University of Victoria. And I'm Maeva Gauthier. I'm a grad student in marine ecology here as well. With over 20,000 people going to UVic every day, UVic is the largest water consumer within the Capital Regional District on Vancouver Island. Neil Conley mentioned that challenges relate to energy use as well as reducing the resources that we utilize, like water. Certainly it's a major expense. We're quite fortunate having good water locally available, but sometimes we take it for granted. We do have an aquatic research facility here on campus. We talked to Brian Ringwood, the Aquatic Facility Coordinator. They dropped their water consumption now by about 40%, which resulted in a 12% drop on campus overall, so they are a significant user of water. They don't know how much more they can drop the usage of water down. Maybe one of the challenges is utilizing the water source more. Currently, the wastewater is about 340 cubic meters of water per day. Doing some math here, this is the equivalent of 1 million liters per three days. What if we could reuse that water before it reaches the grey water system? Hmm. I've got the perfect idea for a sustainable project to utilize more water so that less is entering the grey water system. Cool, what is it? We could do a pilot study into aquaponics here at UVic. Aquaponics? What is that? Aquaponics essentially is a combination of aquaculture, so growing edible fish species, and hydroponics, vegetables or edible plant species, but in the same system. That sounds incredible. How did you hear about it? I helped to set up the first aquaponic system, which is a little hobby system to grow food for turtles and other animals housed in the aquatics facility this past spring. Why don't I show you? So in here we've got our edible fish species, which is Nile tilapia. They're naturally giving off their ammonia, which is their waste. They pump the fish water into a solid waste filter and then into netting. This netting has lots of bacteria in it and the bacteria break down the ammonia into usable nitrogen compounds, nitrite and nitrate, that plants can use. So I pump the water up and into a tube system. Aquaponics produces a lot of plant matter in a very short amount of time. After it flows through the plants, it gets fed back down and into the fish tank again, where it's reused. So it's a recirculating system. It's water is constantly being recycled, which means that aquaponics uses 90% less water than agricultural practices today. How'd that go? It went well for the little hobby system. But ultimately what we need is a pilot study to look into the future of aquaponics here at UVic. But we need a better facility to house plants and fish or even just a small greenhouse area in the yard, on the roof, or somewhere close enough to the aquatics facility that we can pump the water from the fish in the facility to the plants in the new little greenhouse area and then back again. We took our idea to put a greenhouse research area for an aquaponic pilot study to the heads of research services, animal care, aquatics facility, facilities management, office of planning and sustainability, and many researchers from various faculties on campus all of whom express their interest, support and input in this project. This project not only looks at reusing the water UVic is already paying for, but it also touches on the issue of food security as well. We're on an island. We've got limited resources. Our sustainability solution is to take the ancient agricultural and proven science of aquaponics and incorporate it into UVic's future. Back to the future. I like it. Yeah. <laughs>